Thing. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station. And we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. We have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture perfect for a game of this nature. How are you reading this formation, Jim Beglin? Well, the lone striker has to be prepared to do some of the work himself, but essentially he needs two of the three central midfielders to make runs beyond him and trust that the wide men can, can service the penalty box and make those link up runs from out to in. He should get plenty of support with this setup. So it's down to business here. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? The exciting Ivan Perisic. Uh, tall and rangy, but he has a deft touch and enough pace to move clear of attention. He's always looking to shift the ball onto that left foot to catch real power with it. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. Mecino, good challenge, he just stood firm. Just brushed off the ball there. Forward it goes. Seems now to be all about width. Well, when you have the personnel to create in wide areas... Has a swing at it! And the ball's come out! Grosovic, chance to break. Oh, looks like he's been taken out there. So it is still nil-nil. Got through to him. The shot's on! Great build-up. It all deserved a better ending. The timing of the pass and run was exquisite. Chino. Now it's Nyingolan. He's pinged one through here. Going through. Gets wrestled off the ball. Good claim. No margin for error there. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. That'll be a throw. Chino. Nyingalan. Nacino. Brozovic. That always looked inevitable. The defence dealt with that really well. Pushes it out wide. Frank gets good distance on it. Gets it back. Referee rightly gives him offside.
final action of the first half. So another team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. If you review the first half, unspectacular but solid, and that solidity could yet be the foundation for them to, to go on and win. An engrossing half, but we're still where we started. Nil-nil. The action has already resumed here. Frankfurt playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty positives to take from the first half despite this scoreline. Converting chances would make a world of difference for them. And it's been taken short. on that great strength too strong for his opponent has he picked him out just the goalkeeper to shot a goal Enrique knocks it away there is some activity down on the touchline it seems there's going to be a change to Milan, have plenty in the middle. They've planned to defend the aerial route and will do so with numbers. Frey positions himself well and cuts it out. Dashing forward at pace. Pinged one through here. He's away! Peter, we can only applaud that quality of tackle in the circumstances. It was probably goal-saving. To the left it goes. And that has been clubbed away. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Ingolan plays it out to the wing. Perisic has been caught there, it's a foul. That's a booking, always looked it. Pacino. Inter showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Lovely feet. He's come through and he's had a quick look inside. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. They're playing as if time is on their side when it's it's fast running out. They've got to quicken this up. By Ingolan. And there goes the final whistle. Well, it looked nil-nil from a fair way out. Little craft or guile or penetration. Defences largely untroubled. It's goalless.